guys, welcome back. So today's video, we are talking strictly nudes. We are all about the nude lips here on my channel. If you guys are familiar with my videos, you know it's very rare to see me not wearing a nude lip. There are probably five times in the whole year that I don't wear a nude lip. So I feel like this is like my area of expertise. I have um, a lot of favorites that I want to share with you guys. There's high end, drugstore, maybe a few dupes in here. And we have liners, lipsticks, a few liquid lips and some glosses. So if you guys are interested in hearing about some of my favorite nude lip products, then just keep watching. We are going to dive in. I have all of them located in this handy dandy little pouch which is about to explode because there's so much stuff in here so yeah i'm gonna start off with lip liners because i feel like lip liners are so important especially if you're into overlining like me i'm actually really like self-conscious about my whole like mouth region i don't know what it is i just kind of always have been like my whole mouth teeth, whatever. They're not like symmetrical. So I do what I can with lip liner to make my lips look bigger and more symmetrical. I do my best. Some days I look back and I'm like, what is that situation? I don't know. So anyways, lip liners can really just change the look of your lips make them look more full. And you can even use them as lip colors, just fill in your lip and you're good to go. And they also make your lip colors last longer when you wear a lip liner underneath and they help from the color bleeding out. So I'm just gonna talk to you guys about some of my favorites. So here we are with my lip liners, my BFFs. I feel like I am not shit without lip liner on. So let's get into swatching. First and foremost, I'm gonna show you guys one of my OG favorites. Like I feel like this is one of the first lip liners that I really got into and I just this is like my gateway lip liner it just got me into the lip lining game so this is nyx nude beige it's affordable the color of this is very neutral almost has a little bit of like a gray undertone to it so it's great for contouring your lips and it's very close in tone to my natural lip color or like darkness i should say so it doesn't add too much darkness so it makes it really easy to wear just for like every day i'll just line with this and then throw on some chapstick and usually i am good to go so it's not going to change the color of your lipstick too much um for me personally i have obviously like a medium towards tan complexion and these are all pretty flattering to me but this one's really great and i have this specific one in like all of my purses because it's so cheap and it gets the job done next up we have another og favorite of mine this is charlotte tilbury's iconic nude this is one of my top favorites of all time i mean obviously this little nub says it all so this one is again more brown toned it's uh not as grayish as the nyx nude beige but if you are looking for a dupe that one will probably suffice so here it is next to the nyx but i just love this one it has a little bit of a brown undertone to it and it honestly looks just so good wears all day it's creamy it has a little bit of depth to it for me so it adds a little bit of a contour to my lips which i like but it's not like too dark and crazy and hard to work with the deeper the lip liner the more tricky it is to work with because you have to worry about blending it properly but that one is just one of my staples and then another one that we have is from Marc Jacobs. This is one of the newer ones to my collection and I am obsessed with this formulation. I also have it in another shade called Coco, but I cannot find it. I do not know what happened to it. And when that's the case, you know, it's a sad moment. But this is in the shade Nudist and I love these because you don't even need to use a lip liner. You just twist it up to sharpen it. So if you're someone who likes like a really pointy tip, you're probably not gonna like that. But for someone who is so lazy and will be sitting there with like splinters on her lips because she doesn't wanna go find a pencil sharpener, this is very convenient for me. So this is the shade Nudist. It is very similar to the charlotte tilbury iconic nude just a touch touch lighter so like i said i also like the shade coco which is pretty cocoa colored like it's like a chocolatey brown um but here it is next to the charlotte tilbury iconic nude so very similar and like i said if you don't like pencil sharpeners maybe go for the mark jacobs because they are very 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 similar but the formulation of these mark jacobs lip liners are so good they stay on all day and they're so creamy some of the ones that i've tried stay on all day but they're very hard to blend out that is not the case with the mark jacobs next we have this little guy from makeup forever this is 
one of their wherever pencils so you can apply them wherever um they come in so many different shades this is the shade wherever walnut and this one is just like a little bit more has a little bit more of a warmth to it compared to the other ones so if you want something that has a little bit more of like almost like a peachy brown, um, then this might be your guy. But these are really, really nice and they blend out really nicely as well. And they come in a zillion colors. So if you don't like this shade, another good one I think is called Caffeine. Um, but this one is really good. And like I said, just adds like a touch of warmth. Next up, we have one of the ColourPop Lippy Pencils. I hate the word lippy, but uh, Miss Lippy. Uh, I hate the word lippy, but I love the ColourPop Lip Liners. They are affordable, they're creamy, and I really like them. So this one is in the shade BFF2. So this one is kind of similar to the Makeup Forever in tone, but just a little bit darker. So this one um, definitely adds a good amount of contour to your lips and makes a great all over lip color. So this one I really like. A lot of the times I'll just fill in my lips with this, add a dab of lip balm and I'm good to go. And then the last one is the one that I'm wearing today and again is relatively new to me and I need to pick up more colors of these because I love the formulation. So this is the KKW Beauty Lip Liner focus in the shade nude too so i love the packaging of these this one is a sharpening one so i do just need to sharpen it real quick um, like i said i'm using this one today this one is definitely the deepest of the bunch and the most brown but it's so good for adding depth to your lips and kind of doing that contour vibe so this one is here on the end Obviously, we have the darkest one, and it's really pretty on its own, but I have it today paired with a lipstick that I'll show you guys in a minute, but definitely the most brown toned and really good. So this one is actually pretty similar to the Marc Jacobs Coco one that I mentioned that I lost, but this one I believe is more affordable, and you can get these at Ulta now, which is amazing. So love the KKW Beauty Lip Liners. The next nude lip formulation I want to talk about is liquid lipsticks. So to be perfect honest with you guys I do not like wearing liquid lipsticks like I just would rather reapply my lipstick throughout the day than walk around feeling like all of the moisture in the world has been sucked out of my soul through my mouth <laughs> like I don't like the feeling and it's very hard to find a formulation that is comfortable to wear and doesn't look crazy when it starts to come off so these are my two that I do like and would recommend um, but I don't wear them that much so the first one is from uh, L'Oreal it's the infallible lip color the macaron collection and this one is in the shade Moan or Mon Mon? Mon? <laughs> Caramel. So this one I have used in a video before. It's really nice and like a true nude. So these do take a little bit of time to dry down to a matte finish and I think that's why I kind of like them more because they don't instantly like shrivel up on your lips. So there it is right there. Kind of just like a brownish pinkish nude. So not too dark, not too light. Really, really like this one. And then the other liquid lip formulation that I don't hate is this one from Smashbox. This is the Fair Game Always On Liquid Lipstick. So I have a bunch of colors of these. Um, I really like the red lip options for these as well, but this is the nude option. It's probably the lightest nude that I have to show you guys today. So it's very light on me. I definitely have to pair it with another lip color just dab it in the center or it has to be paired with a deeper lip liner for me so either like the color pop or the kkw um, go really nicely for this one for me just because it is pretty light so there it is right there the smashbox always on in fair game next up we have lip gloss so i'm doing these before i get into the lipsticks just because i'm not a huge gloss person either i do like the look of lip gloss but i do not like the feeling of my hair stuck to my face like that like not a cute look instantly pisses me off for like the day when i have like hair in my lip gloss like I don't know why but I feel like maybe I live in the world's windiest area like it's always windy the second I step outside or even if I'm inside I'm like where is this wind coming from am I breathing too heavily I don't know I have two formulations that I really really like and wanted to share with you guys first is the Fenty gloss balm this is a newer color to me but I love the formulation of these they're just so 
moisturizing and they feel really nice on your lips and the smell of these are like fruity and amazing so this is the Fenty gloss bomb just like a little mini one it comes in like a holiday set right now and this is the shade fussy so just like this little baby little bomb and it's so so pretty adds just like a hint of like um a baby pink and has a little shimmer in there but not anything like gritty feeling so there it is right there just adds a nice gloss effect to your lips and again pairs really nicely with any of these lip liners and just gives you a very nice full pouty effect and then the next one is a drugstore lip gloss this is actually a plumping lip gloss it's not like painful or tingly or burning which sometimes i like that feeling but this i honestly wear all the time like on its own like without even wearing a lip liner which says a lot because i love my lip liners so this one i keep in my purse quite a bit and it's the keep it full nourishing lip plumper from milani and this one is in the shade soft rose so it is a lip plumper, but it's not sticky. It's actually very opaque for a gloss and it just makes your lips look really nice and juicy. And it just adds like a nice light pink nude effect to your lips. And like I said, it looks good even without a lip liner. It looks good with one, but it looks good without one too. All right, and then we have one more lip formulation I wanted to get into before I get into the lipsticks. So these are like liquid cream lipsticks, so like lip creams, and they have more of like a glossy finish. So not quite a gloss, not quite a lipstick, summer in between, between, <laughs> between, and these are almost like the exact same and I wanted to share them like as dupes because I love both but they're very 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 similar and yeah so the product that we are duping that I recently picked up and I love and then I just when I was wearing it I was like I feel like I have something that's just like this um, but anyways it is the Patrick Ta um, this is one of his lip creams and this is in the shade she's independent so I love Patrick Ta I wanted to pick this up because it looked gorgeous I love the packaging and I love all of his work so I will swatch it for you guys. It is like a beigey pink nude and it is so good. So there it is right there. Definitely like a pinky nudish beige. Kind of similar in tone to the Milani, but that one is way glossier. And then the dupe that I have for this, the finish of it and the color is almost spot on. And this is a product that I wear all the time. So it's to me better than a gloss because it's not so sticky. Not that the other ones are sticky, but your hair is not going to get caught in this as easily. So this is from Wet n Wild and this is one of their high shine lip sticks I think it's called so this one is in the shade send nudes and it's so good affordable and when you see it next to the Patrick Ta you're gonna be like yeah and so here they are right next to each other as you can see the Patrick Ta is just a teeny tiny bit deeper but same color family same finish and both really really gorgeous if you want to support Patrick Ta or you just love the packaging go for this but honestly to get the same effect, I would go with the Wet n Wild if you're on a budget or if you just want to save your pennies for something else. All right, so then here's just like a general summary of all the ones we talked about. As you can see, they're all relatively similar, but I didn't say they weren't gonna be similar, did I? I did not say that. <laughs> I did not say that, okay. And then lastly, onto my favorite formulation of nudes to wear on my lips are the lipsticks. So, I am just, this is my favorite way to apply a nude lip, to wear a nude lip. It's just the easiest to apply and just most comfortable in my opinion. So I have quite a few that I wanna share and I do have some dupes. So I guess we'll get into the dupes first. Do we do the dupes first? We do, we do. <laughs> Okay, I don't, that wasn't even like funny, okay. So the first lipstick that I am duping and I have mentioned this dupe before is Tarte Colada. So this one I have been wearing like around the clock since like the spring slash summer. It's just one of my favorites. It is one of the Tarte Color Splash lipsticks. Like I said, the shade is Colada and I just put it on my lips really quickly. Obviously, it's pretty similar to what I was wearing before, but there is di there are differences. You will see once I swatch them. Um, but the dupe that I have for it, and I've mentioned this before, is from NYX. And this is the NYX Lingerie Push-Up Lipstick in the shade Push-Up. So 
if you're looking for this and wondering the shade that I like, it's literally in the name, like Push Up and the shade is Push Up. So these are very, very similar to each other. Okay, so how do I do this? I'm trying to do it with my left hand. I should do it with this hand, but I have a lot of scars on my arms on this side and <laughs> okay, let's try to do this. Let's try to be good. Is this good? Are we doing it good? Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was not too shabby. I am not, I'm not mad at that. So here they are side by side. The Tarte is the first one and then the second one is the NYX. As you can see, the colors are so similar. The only difference is the Tarte is a little bit more of a satin finish, whereas the NYX is more matte, but you can't really go wrong with either. The NYX is just a little bit more drying because it is matte, but I do really love both. And as you can see, they're very, very, very similar. Okay, so the next product I love, I blind bought this because I just saw the packaging on Sephora and I was like I need that that is like the prettiest packaging ever for a nude lipstick and so this is the Marc Jacobs I believe this is called the new nudes gel lipstick and this is in the shade moody margot so it's a very light nude and obviously this packaging like nude packaging for a nude lipstick hello genius but anyways this is a very light shade and i mostly use this to lighten up any lipstick or give it more of a sheen and so the dupe that i have for it is from maybelline and this is one of the matte maybelline lipsticks so it is not the same finish but the color is very similar so here it is right here and the shade of this one is beige babe so it's very light and like i said um i like to use it with a another like darker lipstick i guess they're not that much of a dupe now that i have that on my arm gosh darn it I don't know. In my mind, it seemed like more of a dupe, but they are both pretty light in color. And like I said, the Marc Jacobs is more of like a sheer, not sheer, but it has more of a sheen to it. And it's not as opaque as all the other ones, but both really, really pretty. And then the Maybelline, the Maybelline I like, but I hate the smell of the Maybelline ones. They smell like Play-Doh to me and I don't really like that smell. Like, I don't know what it is, but I wish they had like either no smell or just like a different smell. All right, moving on is a Natasha Denona lipstick. This is one of her I Need a Nudes in the shade Michelle. I am partial to the name Michelle because that is my middle name. That is what the M and SML stands for. If you didn't know, now you know. So these I really like because the shade names are named with like undertones so you know like what to expect. So this is 12NB. Hi, David. <laughs> David's here. Please do not knock anything over or bark. So this one is in the shade 12NB, so neutral brown. So this one I really, really like. It's a little bit lighter, but I love the undertone of this. So here is Michelle Swatch. It's a little bit deeper than the Maybelline Beige Babe, but um, I really, really like this one. The undertone, like I said, is neutral brown, and it's very flattering on my lips. It goes with pretty much any lip liner that I wanna pair it with, and just very good pigmentation. More matte and finish, but not drying on the lips. Then the next one is very unique to my collection. This one actually has some shimmer in it. And someone actually told me that these are kind of like dupes for the Pillow Talk Diamonds from Charlotte Tilbury, which I do not own. Um, I do like Charlotte Tilbury's lipsticks, but they're a little bit pricey. And I don't know, I really love this, so I don't feel the need to go out and buy that. So I shared this one on Instagram recently and you guys like went nuts over it. So it is the shade Nude Gold and it's from the Gold Addiction Collection. So this is the packaging. It's from L'Oreal and I love that this has shimmer in it but also has a good amount of color to it. So it's pretty opaque for having shimmer in it. I feel like usually when there is shimmer in a lipstick, it just looks like too frosty or it's there's not enough color payoff and it's more of like a topper, but this one is so good. And I got this at Walmart, by the way. I haven't seen it anywhere else yet, um, but there it is. So as you can see on my arm, hopefully, it has um, a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of sheen in it compared to the rest, but still, there's a lot of pigmentation there. So this one, they have like a lighter shade of this. I think it's called beige gold. So if you want something a little bit lighter and then they have like pinks and all that. So um, I really like the formulation of these and they do not have the weird smell that a lot of L'Oreal lipsticks have. Like most of them have that really old school like makeup-y smell. These do not have that. Just adds like a nice like pouty effect because of the shimmer is adding like 
kind of like a 3D feel. So I've really, really been loving that. The next one I have is also a drugstore one from Maybelline. This is one of these Superstay Ink Crayons. And I haven't found another shade of this that I love in terms of nudes. So this is the only one I'm mentioning and it is in the shade Lead the Way. And this one is definitely the most mauve of the bunch. Like it has more of a pink undertone in comparison to all the others. So there it is. Should I be doing this? Is this more helpful? <laughs> Finally figuring this out. Forgive me for my bad swatching skills. Okay, so here we have the Maybelline Lead the Way. Definitely the most pinky mauve in comparison to the rest. These last really well on the lips. So I wish I liked more of the colors, but I haven't found one that I really like and that is flattering on me. So this is Lead the Way. All right, and then I have two left, both from Marc Jacobs, and these kind of replaced all of my other tart ones. So I had a bunch of these, but they were like going bad and expiring and I just don't love the packaging. I don't know, the packaging, I don't want like a bright blue lipstick unless it is like I'm at the ocean, I don't know. That's just me being like petty, but I didn't love the packaging, but I did love the formula. So um, I used to love Beige Babe, Rum Punch, like all of these different shades. So instead of repurchasing, I found these from Marc Jacobs and I love the packaging. I love the formulation and I love these two colors. One is called No Angel and the other is called J'adore. So here is the packaging very luxe and um, I really like these and they have like um, magnetic caps so that is good for me because I have a bunch of these with no caps because I drop the cap and you know you're never seeing it ever again so then here we have them swatched the lighter one is no angel the darker one is j'adore and I adore both of these so good I love the pigmentation it is like the perfect amount of matte it's not too drying and I love them the um, lighter one obviously is like pretty similar to a lot of the others but the j'adore it's the perfect deeper nude for my skin tone it just has like this hint of a burgundy tone and it's not too dark it's not too light it's just like the perfect deeper nude for me especially for this time of year i've really been loving it and it's also really really similar to the nude sticks um sun kissed cheek color which i love but i didn't love it on my lips and it was kind of hard to apply because it's like this big circle and it's just not really that friendly to apply on your mouth so this is the closest lip stick that I have found to it and I really really love it. All right so here we are all swatched up. <laughs> uh, I tried my best with the swatches. I'm sorry if I suck at it. I really did try my best. I promise you. These are like my most worn, my go-tos and I really feel like you can't go wrong with any of them. They're just all so good. I feel so weird like holding my arms like that. <laughs> but anyways I seriously love all of these. I know there's a lot of options here. I was going to try them all on, but they all look so similar. You guys would be like, okay, that is not helpful. Scratch everything I just said. I totally forgot the one that I was wearing in the beginning of the video, which is from KKW. This one is nude number three. So here is the packaging. I love the nude and the kind of like acrylic. Really pretty. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this one is that when you put it on, it has like kind of like this waxy crayon smell and I don't love that. It doesn't last on the lips, but when you're applying it, it's just something I wanted to um, share with you guys. But I do really like it and here it is at the very end. It kind of has like a peachy brown undertone to it. Very creamy, very pigmented, and like I said, the KKW is now available at Ulta. So I definitely need to pick up more shades. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite nude lip product is or if you have a favorite combo by the way combos I don't really have any specific com combos I just know like I said earlier like if it's a super light one I have to wear it over top of something or with a deep lip liner that's pretty much how my combos go I normally just grab like whatever is closest to me to be perfectly honest I gotta stop talking this video is getting super long so I will see you guys next time hello there did you get a haircut very handsome. I feel like I'm wasting all of this lip product on my freaking arm. Why are my swatches getting worse? Why do they keep getting thicker and thicker? Who wants to collab with me for a remix of one of the most award-winning songs called Shoes? If you don't know this video, I don't know if we could be friends. Nudes. 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 
Let's get some news. Let's get some news.